What is going on guys, it's Lemons here bringing you a video for today and in this video we're going to be reacting to my dream car dude like the Honda Civic Type R 2017 Bro, this car is looks so amazing bro like I want it so bad uh, Like I see this car a lot in the street and it's like so beautiful So we are just going to be reacting to it to my dream car Okay, so the title of this video is 2017 Honda Civic Type R Red Line Review. We are just gonna w watch it, see how it is, see how it looks, or yeah, let's get it. Follow the Type R um, history, and you'll know that championship white signifies the first time Honda ever won F1 racing back in 1965. This is a unique color for the Type R. So you can see with this all new model, Honda's stuck with a lot of the traditional styling elements. The first one you're gonna notice, obviously, the red uh, Honda badge. Only Type R models get the red badge. There's also wow. a small little Type R badge in the grill. Um, but thankfully Honda also brought this car into the 21st century. It has a lot of modern premium elements. All Type R's will come in a well-equipped touring trim, which means you'll get standard full LED headlights, Bruh, LED fire, turn signals, oh LED daytime running lights, LED low and high beams. You also get standard LED fog lights, which definitely make this car a premium looking car at night. It signifies the fact that this is the hierarchy of the Civic lineup. The rest of the front fascia, definitely beautiful, very dude, aggressive. Like Some of them have even criticized beautiful. it for being overstyled. However, I think this car is bold. It needs to be over Style. It's, an, it's a Type R, it needs to stand out. Uh, you have this carbon fiber accented uh, lip spoiler, some red accents. The whole um, bodywork in the front, the sides, the rear, they're all functional. It all adds to uh, making this car slip through the wind. It also makes push, it also helps push the car onto the road because as you guys know, Type R's are supposed to be track ready vehicles. Now the hood, it is an aluminum hood. It saves about 12 pounds versus a uh, steel hood. And the hood scoop here, it's functional. It feeds air into the intercooler. Uh, which helps cool down the uh, two liter turbocharged uh, engine. Okay, now, if you okay. want to follow me over to the sides, you're going to notice one uh, thing that will catch your eye immediately these massive 20 inch wheels. These are standard bro, yeah, bro. on all them, type them bars. Uh, they're wrapped in 245 30 series rubber on Continental summer tires. And then the brakes behind those wheels massive Ooh. brakes. These are 13.8 inch the red uh, cross drilled and vented rotors. If you're keeping score, that's about three inches larger than what you get in a garden variety Civic that your neighbor owns. And they're all clamped down by Brembo four piston brakes with high friction, high performance pads. Remember, this is supposed to be a track ready vehicle. Now, bro. the rest of the profile of the Type R. This car only comes as a hatchback, as you guys know. It's built in the same assembly plant in England as the other hatch models. And um, the car itself is actually bigger than a standard hatch. The overall length is about an inch and a half longer because of the front and rear bodywork. But really, what you're going to notice the most is the fact that this car is significantly wider, about three inches wider than a standard Civic. Hey, That's man. because of these puffed out fenders. One day uh, the I'll, larger I'll, wheels and tires, which car. are significantly wider. Now, a couple things you're also going to notice here functional air vents here to help with cooling the engine and the brakes. Uh, the side skirt also has the same carbon fiber accents uh, with the red accents. It all makes this car uh, very cohesive. All the design elements are, you know, reminiscent of the front, the sides, and the rear. It all works together fairly well. Now, when you come around the back of the Type R, it's equally polarizing, and it has the same kind of in-your-face design elements of the front. Bro, Obviously, the first that, thing you're going to notice is the nice gigantic well. wing. Now, this is not just and any that wing, uh, wing for those riced-out Civics. It's actually a functional wing. It adds downforce when you're at speeds, uh, which is important. And surprisingly, I didn't find oh, the wing dude. got in my way when I was actually Beautiful driving car. the car. Now, as I said earlier, this car only comes in a hatch configuration configuration there's no sedan there's no coupe which is exactly how it should be the taillights they're the same taillights on other civics led accented not full leds like the front uh you're gonna have the signature type r badge oh the red honda emblem dude and then, course, i want it so bad here, dude type that r's car, need to have an aggressive sound honda and this is where honda spent a lot of time working on you have triple exhaust outlets now the outer exhaust are, is there it's a low restriction high flow exhaust the center is actually a resonator it's all there to amplify the noise from the low to mid rpm and then it's supposed to cut out those drones you get at high rpm the rest of the underbody you can see matches out of the front carbon fiber accents uh, with the red it looks very aggressive it looks very menacing and i think it'll definitely be a that white and then especially with the red uh, um, the brighter colors that honda offers it in. now the being red only a like hatchback nice. you're probably wondering how's the cargo area and Honda is proud to point out that this car has the most space in the class with okay, the seats up. Okay. You're looking at around 25.6 cubic feet of space. Now, if you want to fold down Got the seats, plenty of space in the, back. Uh, the car gives you about 46 cubic feet of space. Now, if you're keeping count, that's more than what you get in a Focus RS and a Subaru STI, but a little bit less than the Golf R gives you. Now, 
Uh, underneath the floor here, there is no spare tire. Instead, you just get a fix-a-fly kit. Remember, this is a track car, and we don't want some spare tire adding weight yeah. uh, to the rear of your Civic true. Type R. True that, true that. As with any Type R, what's going on underneath the hood is the most important factor. And this is where the Type R has a completely unique engine. Now, unlike the SI, the Type R does get VTEC and it does get turbo. Um, this is a Clean two liter, so it's a bigger okay. motor, double overhead cam, direct oh injection, IVTEC on the exhaust. It has VTC on the intake as well and the exhaust. Uh, and the numbers are pretty impressive. It makes 306 horsepower at about 6,500 RPM, about 295 pound feet of torque between 2,500 to 4,500 RPM. Now, if you're keeping score, this actually makes the Type R the second most powerful in this segment. The RS is the only one that surpasses it. It has one more horsepower than the Subaru STI. Um, now, it all goes out through a six-speed manual. That's the only choice. This is a manual-only club. It all goes out through the front wheels, boo, but it does have a limited slip differential. It has a dual-axis suspension to counteract torque steer. We'll go out in the test drive later, and we'll talk about that. Um, but uh, fuel economy is actually not bad. It's rated at 22 in the city, 28 in the highway. Please put premium gas in it, um, which is roughly matching that of a Golf R, way more efficient than an RS or a uh, Subaru STI. Now, the Type R is lighter because it is not all-wheel drive. It weighs around 3,100 pounds, about 300 pounds less than its all-wheel drive competitors. So Honda says you don't need the all-wheel drive out on the track. We'll go out into the track later on, and I'll show you guys if that's seriously the case. Okay. All right, not Just to like interior. any car, the inside of the Type R is going to be a very important aspect. This is where you're going to be spending the majority of your time. Now, yeah, first of all, every Type R will come standard with the smart key access system with push button start. No remote start. This is a stick shift, of course. Uh, but when you start the vehicle up, you're probably wondering how does it the sound clutch. at first? The clutch and then start it up. Now, because it's push button start, all you have to do is just put the clutch in, keep the key inside the vehicle. Let me turn off the air conditioning and let's hear it really quick. I mean, like, it's, it's, it's kind of quiet, but... Unfortunately, it's limited to around 3,500 RPM, but you can actually hear the blow-off valve, and it has that nice deep growl that the SI didn't have that I was kind of disappointed by. Now, when you shut the door, it sounds nice and solid, just like all the other Civic platforms. Now, looking at the rest of this interior, uh, it has a lot of elements in it that differentiate it from a standard Civic. The first one thing I'm going to notice are these seats. Uh, yes, these are specific to the Type R. Ooh, uh, nice they are not Recaro. Um, they are Honda designed, the very white, aggressively bolstered you? race seat. And you even have these little slots here for uh, an aftermarket racing harness that you can easily retrofit if you guys decide to take this to the track. The bolster is aggressive. I love the fact that it's made of Alcantara. It's not cloth. So I'm not going to about the fact that Honda doesn't offer leather in the Type R because I like this material a lot. They did, however, take out heated seats, which is what you got in an EX Civic or an SI, so I will kind of complain a little bit about that. Now, the rest of this interior, you can see nice red accents uh, found throughout. There's the same kind of stitching, faux stitching okay, with okay. the soft touch materials here it's on nice. the upper part. Uh, and it just looks and feels love it. special. I love it, really, I the love thing that catches my eye the most uh, beside the seats are this, is this new steering wheel. It's a flat bottom steering wheel with the nice red. It's got the red Honda emblem. Uh, the stitching feels nice, and the rim is also thicker. It's even thicker, thicker than what you get in the SI to kind of just remind you you have uh, the special uh, the special Honda. Now, um, looking at the door panels here, it's the same soft touch material from the uh, the upper part of the dash. Um, you have more of that carbon fiber look accent with the red. The windows are one touch. For just the front, the rears are not one touch like you get in the front windows. Uh, and when you look at the center stack here, you get the premium head unit. Now, it's the same head unit you find in a Touring Civic, so you actually have full navigation. You have Android Auto and CarPlay. When you go to the home screen here, you can see here, go to the navigation, it gives you the newest version of you know, right. the Honda Map system, where it's kind of a Garmin-based system. It looks a lot better versus the old one, and I like the fact that Honda made Nav standard. Now, as you saw earlier, it's got Honda Link, so it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, the touch response is good. I'm not going to go too much in debt with this since you guys know. Now, one thing I do want to talk about really quickly is when you go to settings here, um, there is no driver assistance on this car. Honda took that out uh, when they basically made this a Type R. There's no Honda Lane Watch as well. However, when you go to like the vehicle systems here in settings, um, there's a driver assist, uh, system setup here. When you do that, it actually turns on the automatic rev 
mat system, which I actually will leave on for most of the test drive. Um, it actually is the first production Honda to get automatic rev matching, so that's something I really want to go over later on in the video. Now, uh, when you put the vehicle in reverse, you also get a backup camera, it's standard, it's got the three views. There's no parking sensors, so you guys saw those little um, oh, indents for damn, sensors bro. on the back. That actually blue looks nice. Not too. There, they took it out to save weight on this car. Woo! Now, one choice only on the transmission, six-speed manual. It's got a nice metal shift ball to kind of show that this is a Type R. Uh, the throws are super short. This is the best shifting Honda transmission, modern one, that I've driven so far. It's just a really great uh, transmission that uh, if you guys are have to drive stick, this is the one you want to be it in. Uh, now, the rest of the center console okay. controls here, all Type R's will have a unique placard to show well, the whole uh, the interior rarity looks of this so car. This clean. one being is number 468 off the production line. It. So again, uh, make sure you guys make a note of that if you actually decide to buy this car. This controls the drive mode selector. Uh, it will always default to sport when you start it up. Push it down, it goes into a comfort. Push it up, it goes into R+, which is basically like a track mode. It makes everything uh, much more visceral. The ride gets firmer, the steering gets uh, harsher, and then the, the, the exhaust noise gets a little bit uh, more pronounced. Uh, the center console here, the same stuff you find in the SI, basically. It's nice and Alcantara padded. This adjusts, it's got deep cup holders here. You have USB ports down here and then back here for the Apple CarPlay. Uh, and overall, the Type R's interior certainly feels like it's uh, up there in the hierarchy lineup. The only thing you're missing is there's no sunroof because, again, that adds weight, lowers the center of gravity, and the Type R is only a four-seater. That's always been a Type R tradition. There's no actual center seat uh, like there are in the regular Civics. So this class of vehicle is supposed to be a practical vehicle when you need it to be, and this is where the Type R also excels. This is still a Civic, so. The whole interior, the outside of the car, the um, fucking the wheels we we saw the, the engine we saw all that so yeah um but yeah bro this this car looks so beautiful dude like i i can't wait until i buy one or like be able to buy one but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like and subscribe if you're new and yeah peace out